So you are the 10th person to walk around the world, but the first person to walk around the world with a dog. So how does it feel to be back home in New Jersey? It's a big relief. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long seven years. Uh, it's been very rewarding. Uh, I mean, I've grown a lot, I've seen a lot, uh, but it's also very challenging. I had a friend who died when I was 17 and she was 16. It was my first close experience with death and it made me realize that I could go at any moment. And when I thought about what I wanted in life, I wanted adventure, I wanted to see the world, I wanted to understand the world. And that kind of led me to discovering these two men who had walked around the world before. And that just stuck in my head for whatever reason. And uh, it was eight years of saving and planning and going to school and saving money until I could take my first step and start. There's been so much kindness and, and I've had so many people supporting me along the way. I had a guy basically help me get over the Bosphorus Bridge. I became the first person to cross the Bosphorus Bridge, which crosses from Europe to Asia and Turkey. And he helped me get permission from the government. And like I, did, I had never met this guy before arriving in Istanbul. How many Forrest Gump jokes have you no. heard? Endless. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked for four months on my own oh. and I was waking up every night thinking I heard something outside, you know, a stick cracking or someone's coming maybe. And after so many nights like that, I kept thinking, man, it'd be really nice to have a dog that could listen and I could just sleep and I wouldn't have to worry about that. So when I got to Austin, Texas, I went into an adoption center Spent about two hours looking for a dog. I couldn't find any that I really connected with and right as I was about to leave, they brought out Savannah and her sister, these little puppies that they had found on the highway. And I right away knew she was the one for me, so Aww. I adopted her. I was sitting down writing the paperwork, filling her out, and her sisters were being adopted too. Aww. So they were in there for maybe five minutes total. I got very lucky. And yeah, she's been with me ever since. She's a perfect travel dog. She's the perfect size. She's grown up on the road, and it's the only life she knows. So now that you've done it, do you get like a rec like a Guinness book? <laughs> like, are you in Guinness, or like, do you get like a medal? Like, or is it just? I mean, obviously, it's such an accomplishment, but is it just for you to know? I mean. I got a plaque from the town. These great followers gave me this custom humidor with cigars in it for me nice. to enjoy. Uh, but no, I mean, it, it's really just about like all the experiences and growth and uh, just like the greater understanding of, of the world and myself that I kind of return with. Having been through so much and, and walked through the rain for days and then through the snow and over the mountains, just having been through so many challenges over so many years, like, being in the park now and waking up in a bed this morning, I can really appreciate it. And so I think that is the reward is that I just have this appreciation for very small things that are easy to take for granted.